for you! Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and I am a shameless fan of getting free tactical stuff, so this is marvelous. I've been trying to get a hold of this particular item for a while now, same as that, um, rucksack, and once again, Banggood are the ones who finally came through for me. This is, as it would appear, a Molly rifle holster of sorts. Rifle, shotgun, it's more versatile than the previous shotgun holster that I featured because the previous one was only about that long and a little bit narrow. It was designed for a real steel shotgun, which are fairly svelte. This one uh, allows for a much larger variety of uh, blasters to be put into it. It's also a little bit more modular in, in ways that uh, you can change more things about it. So I'm going to go over the features, then I'm going to give you the dimensions of this particular holster, and then I'm going to show a bunch of blasters that do fit and a couple of blasters that don't fit to give you an idea which ones will and won't. I'm not going to try to cover every single blaster. There are hundreds of them. Please don't comment down in the comments asking, will this one fit, will that one fit? Use some common sense. I'm going to give you the dimensions, I'm going to give you examples. From there, you should be able to work it out on your own. If you ask me if something will or won't fit, you're probably just going to get some snark, because I just, you will. And you know why, and you deserve it, and you know you do. Okay, let's take a look at the features of this thing. Well, first of all, it has molly from here to here on both sides, and comes with four loops to allow you to attach it to, say, a molly vest. Uh, you could attach it high up on the shoulder, and it would be easy to draw over either shoulder, depending on whether you're right-handed or left-handed, or want to draw right or left-handed. Um, it comes with a carry handle, which is also removable. It's snap-on and fits into molly, so that is pretty cool, because you could move it to different places, or use it for something else entirely. That's kind of the neat feature, is that it does come off. It does have a retention strap here that goes over the top and will hold the blaster a little bit better in place, but again this one is snap-on and removable, which means you could actually use this as a single point sling mount on your vest, simply by looping this through the shoulder and then having the other side on your blaster, loop it through and snap it on, and it would allow you to make a quick release for your blaster, which would be nice. There is then another non-removable retention strap that goes over what is more or less the magazine well, as we will see in certain blasters. that works as a retention strap across that. There is then a shoulder strap, which is adjustable, and there are several different locations of D-rings on here. These ones are only on the one side, they don't have that on both sides, so it's not as ambidextrous as it could be, but these ones are ambidextrous, they're, they're centered, so you could uh, attach the, the, bla the, the straps to it and wear it over either shoulder exactly the same way, which is nice. The final feature that is actually really, really cool is that you can shorten the thing. It folds over, doubled, and now it makes for a shorter holster, which allows you to better fit shorter blasters without having them, you know, get completely lost inside and you're not able to draw them. Or you can extend it so that the longer blasters will fit without it becoming lopsided or them falling out. So dimensions from End to end is 29 inches, really, I guess, effectively 28 inches, given that there's a seam down here. The uh, area before you reach the uh, magwell is 19 inches. When you fold it up, it takes essentially, I think, 6 inches more or less off of it, 5 inches, but with the curve. So now you really have 23 inches to the end and 14 inches to the magwell. Across it, it is technically 7, but because blasters are not completely flat, they're going to spread it out a little bit, and so you really have effectively 6 inches of clearance top to bottom in this area to be able to fit things inside it. Once you get up to here, it really doesn't matter because this end is open, but uh, in the enclosed area, it's 9 inches. So. Keep that in mind if you're trying to figure out what blasters will and won't fit. You've got about 6 inches down here and whatever you need down here, and a total of 28 inches length. So, that should allow you to work out whether something is or isn't going to fit. But let's take a look at some examples anyway. So, starting off, we're going to look at shotguns, because 
that is what the previous one was clearly designed for. So we've got a couple of the oldies but goodies. We've got a sledge fire, which fits absolutely beautifully when it's rolled up. So this is one that fits when it's um, folded and it fits just gorgeously. So that one is a yes. Another shotgun, we have the um, X shot eliminator. It actually is a little bit too big for it, but it will fit. Um, but it, it really kind of just swallows it whole. You can almost fit another blaster in there along with it. The, I think this is what, the, the Vindicator? Something like that? I don't remember, nor do I care. But it also actually is a little bit small, but does fit. I don't know if this one fits in the other shotgun one. I don't have one handy. Let's take a look at the bigger ones. It very definitely fits any of the various pump action addition ones. Even, it actually fits them a little bit better extended. So either the Magnus, uh, the Boss, the Kronos, any of those, uh, it it's exactly the right size and is fabulous for that. The other shotgun one did fit them as well, but it was a little bit tight. This fits it a lot better. Let's take a look at things with magazines. So the first one I'm gonna take a look at is the Sentinel because Sentinels are fabulous. Obviously it will fit, but because the barrel is actually relatively short, you can't fit it in with a magazine in it. Now, if you put it in uh, with it extended, it, it again pretty much swallows it all the way. If you roll it up, then it's a, probably a little bit easier for you to then draw. So that's kind of a up to you thing. Now I definitely plan to put one of these on my vests. I'd probably like to get a couple of them and put them on all of my vests just because of how versatile and useful they are. Um, and I'm probably going to be running something different for HVZ uh, this coming year. And so my Alpha Trooper is not gonna be my primary, it is going to be my backup primary and is probably what I would run in this. And it will fit quite nicely even with it rolled up though then, again, since it's got a fairly short barrel, it won't fit with a magazine. If you had it with a magazine, it would be, it would probably fit, but it would be a little bit looser than I would like. So, uh, I would probably store it without the magazine because I would have magazines on me. If my uh, new primary were to fail, then this would be what I would switch to. Let's take a look at some more primaries. Your caliber, and in this case, this is a rival burn, but it's pretty much the same whether you have a Caliburn, a Rival Burn, a Mega Burn, they will all fit. And if you have it, again, rolled up, it will fit with a magazine in it and still be fairly well balanced and not likely to fall out. If you're worried about it falling out, you can, of course, uh, extend the magazine the full and have it drop all the way in, at which point the magazine won't fit. But Caliburns will fit both ways even with the, the sights that kind of come with them, though those are not great as they do tend to snag a little bit. So keep that in mind. Let's take a look at a longer one. Let's take a look at my modified sling fire. Now this modified sling fire will fit and will fit with the magazine exposed. That's how long this thing is. Um, but again, it's fairly well balanced. It's not likely to fall out. If you had a sling fire that did not have the extended barrel, then you would be wanting to fold it up and it would probably come to about there and would again, still fit quite nicely. So that is lovely. Continuing with long arms, we have Uller, my primary caliber, which does have the full uh, Captain Slug scar barrel. And with the scar barrel on it, it fits in, again, with magazine well exposed. So if you wanted to have it um, active and ready to be able to just draw it and have your long range blaster available, this works beautifully for that, even with a long scar barrel on it. So that is cool. Um, you would definitely want to make sure that your scar barrel is well secured. This one has an extra piece of pipe to give it a little bit more rigidity because drawing it, if it was purely 3D printed, you might run into the risk of breaking it. Going to a shorter long range option, we have my Talon Claw, which we would definitely want to have folded just because of the length. Now with magazine, it fits in quite nicely. And if you had a stock, it would be very easy to draw. If you took the magazine well, or took the magazine out, then it does tend to get 
swallowed up a little bit more. Uh, and it would probably go even further and it pretty much disappears in there if you uh, unfold it. So I would recommend having it folded and keep a magazine in it. Now let's take a look at some um, fully automatic options. We have the Rapid Strike. The Rapid Strike will actually fit in here. I think this thing is actually designed for things like ARs, so it's not surprising that you can even get something big in here. Um, and it fits in all the way, magwell not exposed, because again the Rapid Strike is kind of shorter at the front end. Not bad, and with the batteries up there, uh, it probably would hold in fairly well, and if you use the retention strap it would probably wouldn't have too much risk of falling out. But it's, uh, you could fold it up again with how short that one fits in there, but uh, it, it will fit in there. The one that kind of surprised me, pleasantly, honestly, was the Stampede. The Stampede will actually fit in here nicely. Uh, again, oddly enough, fold it up, but with this one, you're not going to want to start with a magazine because of how back heavy it is. Um, it, it really wouldn't stay in well, but without a magazine, uh, it will fit in there, and that's, that really <laughs> tells you just how much room there is in this thing. The last one I want to talk about that does fit is what we refer to as a strifle. A strife with barrel and stock. This fits in here quite nicely. Um, whether you have it uh, closed up, if you have it closed up it will then again have the magwell exposed which is nice because then you have it functional ready to go. I'm a big fan of strifles. Now if you went with the longer barrel or a shorter barrel obviously you're going to have different lengths but it does fit quite Nicely. So, strifle, yes. Train! It's a long one, too. Alright, so I wanted to show off how this thing actually fits on your back when you're wearing it just using the shoulder strap and have it tightened down fairly well. And it, it does actually fit more or less where you'd want it. If you were using it you, um, attached to a molly vest, you could have it going straight up and down or at whatever angle you really wanted to, uh, which would be nice. Um, but with it just using the shoulder strap, you can in fact draw it, even this ridiculously long one, you can simply draw right over the shoulder, and you can then also holster back just right over the shoulder, which is really very handy. So, yeah. Alright, let's talk about some of the ones that it won't fit. The first one that I'm going to talk about are some of the other shotguns, because I know they're going to come up. The Orbit, unfortunately, does not. It is simply too tall, and even if it didn't have this sight, which I really think should have been a rail attachment, and then you could have actually used the rail, this rail is completely useless, um, but I, even without it, it wouldn't have because of how, just how tall it is. So that one won't fit. Another shotgun that unfortunately does not fit is the Atlas. Not, not a chance. It's just, again, too tall for reasons that are arguably unnecessary, but those ones don't. And the final one that doesn't, that is unfortunate for the auxiliary, is what is going to be more or less the standard issue strifle. Um, now this one is not exactly what it's going to be, this is just the, the this was the template, this is the, the, the idea behind it all and the reason that this is being created. This is the strifle that I've run in HVZ for a very, very long time. Um, it is a strife with an underslung Magnus because in a lot of HVZs they have super zombies that can only be taken out with mega or larger ammunition. Socks, rockets, mega, stuff like that. So I of course put a Magnus on here and the strife is still an excellent blaster all on its own but unfortunately with the Magnus it will not fit. The Magnus is simply too big. However, in the designs that we're creating it might be possible to make the Magnus slightly easier to take on and off simply by having um, possibly having the latch that it connects here be um, attached with thumb screws. So you could easily pull the Magnus off and store it in another pouch and then be able to store your um, strifle. You might even actually be able to fit the Magnus in here with it. Maybe, maybe not. Probably better off just having a separate pouch that it attaches to. Uh, but you could easily have your strifle stored somehow if we can make the Magnus easy to remove. If not, then you know, you can't always just take it off and store it that way, but yeah. Those are the kind of things that do and don't fit in this holster. And I, it, it is everything that I was hoping it was going to be. Um, for the love of Nerf, one of our local 
Um, guys, he has one that he stores all of his long arms in, and uh, I've been meaning to get a hold of one ever since I saw his, and now I finally have it, and it's, it is everything I thought it would be, and I want three more of them. All right, so there you go. There is this holster. Uh, it is available on Banggood. It's available on lots of other places. The link for Banggood will be down in the description. Again, I think it's an affiliate link. I don't know, nor do I care, but that's the link they really want me to use for some reason. Uh, and I assume it helps them track how well my ads are getting them bought stuff and that increases their likelihood to send me more stuff. I don't know. Um, check it out if you want one. Definitely um, worth it in my opinion. Again, it's not terribly expensive for how versatile it is. So there you have it. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, suggestions, things on Banggood that you would really like me to review, let me know, and I will see if they're willing to send it to me. And uh, thank you for watching. Bye.